Hello, friend. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining me. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. So today we are going to thank God for loving us when we are distracted. Now, the reason why that's a worthy prayer for me, at least, is you might feel like, what? I can guarantee that I'm, I'm not the only one who feels this way sometimes. Even now, as an adult, as someone with lots of training to think otherwise, a part of me still deep down kind of believes that God's a little bit of a monster waiting to thwack us, right? So I grew up um, in a household where there was a lot of prayer, and that was a very, very good thing. Right? And my mom would quote St. Paul and saying, pray always, always pray, always direct your thoughts to God. Always, when you can, take a moment, take a breath, and just be present to God, right? So obviously, if you follow Coffee Break Prayer, you know that I still try to live that. Thanks, Mom. Um, at the same time, somewhere along the line, I picked up the idea that if my prayer life is less than completely orderly and disciplined, um... I'm in for a world of hurt, right? Like I will lose track. If I don't pray the office today, I'll never pray it again. And then blah, blah. Anyway, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, not logical at all. God certainly does not look at us that way. But there's my honest confession to you that it's a little tiny part of me inside still feels like, huh. so in case you do too, let's take a moment to thank God for loving us despite our distractions. In the name of Abba, our loving creator, Christ, the, the one who called creation forth out of Christ's own being and the Holy Spirit who hovered over the waters of creation, calling forth newness into existence. Amen. That's a very fancy way of saying in the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, and help us to take a moment to pray. Help us to quiet ourselves for just a moment, knowing that you, O oh God of infinite love, just need, you don't need anything to love us, obviously, but all we need is to give you just a quick moment and infinite love, infinite strength. We, we open our minds and our hearts and our very bodies to the infinity of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. Rekindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and we shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. So, friend, I'll invite you to uh, take two deep breaths with, with me today. I'm having a little trouble with breath today. Thank goodness I have asthma medicine and all this, and it's helping. Not a good day for me. So um, it's a good opportunity for me to remind you that your breath is just one tool to help us come back to now, right? You take that one deep breath, or shallow, if that's all you can manage, right? And the point is to let the breath bring us back to this moment. What does it feel like to be you right here, right now? Where are your hands? You don't have to move them. Just notice. Here's an oddball question. Can you feel your earlobe? Just to notice. So, Lord Jesus, here we are. Emmanuel, Christ with us. Right here, right now. Thank you for loving us and for enlivening our friendship with you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, all that we need ask your forgiveness for the times I uh, 
think that they're a little bit monstrous waiting to thwack me or other people. And uh, I know you are always merciful and kind and that you will even have mercy, especially have mercy on us when we ask you to forgive us and open our hearts and minds to who you really are, gentle one, you who wouldn't, you wouldn't put out a smoldering wick, you wouldn't break a bruised reed. It's how gentle the scriptures say you are and you love us. Help us to let go of all the things that we put on ourselves that we think we need to do. Maintain. Maintain. Holy relationship with you. And you do it to one another as well. Not in unkindness, but often helpful, right? We're trying to help one another find a path. So help us to be gentle with one another and most of all, to trust in your loving kindness. And this we ask in your precious and holy name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today in that little bit of an oddball prayer. God loves oddball prayers because they're from the heart. So may you bless my friend this day and every day. And if any part of you is wondering um, if God is wrathful toward you in any way. May God's mercy touch you. May you find your way to a community and a wise friend, pastor, rabbi, or just a wise friend to help you through this. Therapist, if that's what you need. May God give you the grace you need to find peace and healing and be the absolute best you that you can be. That's this in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.